Hi right, guys, Dodgy Bruce, welcome to Dodgy's channel. I don't need no scripts because, eh, you saw my videos. This is my 1980 uh, F100 Ambo, which is kind of weatherproof because it leaks. Um, and it still leaked. Rain's getting everywhere. Um, anyway, what we've got to do is replace the radiator because it's pretty cooked. It leaks everywhere. I have got another radiator that's exactly the same. Not sure how good it is, but as long as it doesn't leak, we're fine. So, it shouldn't be too hard. Just trying to get in there because full bar and stuff, a little bit of a pain. But, uh, we should be right. I've sprayed some stuff on it. The only thing is the auto trans lines might be a little bit of a problem because they haven't been out for a while. Hmm. Other than that, yeah, but I'll show you the, uh, the engine bay is a little bit, uh, how's your father? Um, so, got thermos on it, they're hardwired unfortunately, so I've got to put relays and stuff on those eventually, which is what all this uh, wiring's for, but we'll um, we'll do something about that, because yeah, I put in your water pump and I thought, eh, hey, get rid of the thing. Uh, Mechanical fan, the engine fan, and put uh, thermos on it, which work quite well. Except, yeah, the current drawer is bad. She is nasty. It's on gas, as you can see. And although that's fine, it's just it's overheated that many times. The old head gaskets there. Um, they're weeping, or well, they usually weep. Um, yeah, she's a bit of a nugget. But and there's the other one. Not pretty, but it's the same, so I won't have a problem. So, let's see what we can do. I got that out, I only cut myself once. It wasn't too hard, but Jesus, they're heavy. All right, so here's my old one, and as you can see, she was leaking pretty much everywhere. Um, yeah, she was, uh, you know, it had been welded in there and whatever else, and then uh, it had gone. So, fortunately, uh, what else here? Just, it was just done for. It was just leaking everywhere. I think there was a small leak over there as well. I mean, the fins on this side weren't too bad, although falling apart. Your best seen better days than this one. Well, it doesn't leak, so let's see. Let's see how we go. I've still got to take these out. Don't know how well that's going to go. Um, I got the thermo fans off now. The good thing I had about this one is that ledge sits right on top here, just snugly sits across there, and I just had it screwed in. Just nice, and some brackets to uh, hold it so this doesn't you know, bend, although it's pretty damn strong. But I forgot uh, the um, ties. Yeah. So I can't put that back on right this moment. So, yeah, that's, that's crunchy. That's crunchy. Anyway, so that's out. It's just a huge mess. Um, of course, I, and that's pre-soak all your nuts. I pre-soaked these, and they were just they just unscrewed. It was easy. These are a little bit uh, worse wear because they actually were glued. Um, not glued, but you know, after that many years, it actually had stuck to the top of the radiator. So a bit of a prying session, and they popped off. Probably could use new ones of those. Don't know. If you can get them. Um, yeah. Well, that was a rock pain in the ass. But I got it. Mind you, I should have actually tried to drain it before I put the what's names on. Flush it, I mean, because you got to get a bit crunchy inside. You just got a bit crunchy. Floaties inside the new radiator. But we can expect some old radiator. I ended up, I had to trim 
a lot of the uh, inside there because of this. Whereas on that one, it's flat. This one's got this little thingy, so I have to trim. There's a big piece of plastic coming up. Uh, where did I cut it off? I don't know. Somewhere. It's anyway, lots of plastic was cut. Um, so I trimmed it down, then cut this little piece out here to actually get into there, which is yeah. And then half tech screw, half what's the name of this? I don't think these tech screws are actually holding real well, but these are. And it's folded over, so it holds the weight. And I did actually find some uh, more of these things. Uh, I did actually find a pack. So I slotted them in and uh, crimped them off. They're not real tight, pull tight, but that's, that's all right. So I found that. So she's actually back together. Bit of a struggle getting the old um, uh, AT those those things just those things right i'm trying to get those off the old one they were quite uh, quite stuck so um and the original ones that came out of this one the plugs they were easy they're actually quite easy once i put some of my favorite ballista on it it was fine so it's kind of ready to go in i think um so, next day, ish, got the radiator in. Um, it's holding water, that's all I need. We'll soon see uh, if it's under pressure, if it actually holds it as well. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a drive later and just see how she runs, although it's getting a bit dark, so maybe. Um, lights, yeah, nah, as you can see, new light, not so new. But it now runs, everything's hooked up. Bit of a difference with this model, uh, with this radio when I go to tie it down not quite exact but, but dodgy spec it'll do i just um topped up the fluids as well oil didn't need it trans needed a bit because i just lost the one underneath there when i took this out that took about 400 mil four five hundred six hundred maybe bit i don't know whatever was in the bottle it went in there and then i just ended up just dropping oil all over the back of it as well because you know i'm old i can't see so I had to quickly degrease the engine. Fine. Um, anyway, it's all in there. It, it runs. Battery, battery's going flat, so I had to get the old uh, Oscar charger out. Because, you know. Uh, so I managed to find some water I had lying around. Because I go camping, I had all well, those three of these, but one was empty, so yeah, most of it went in. Anyway, she's in. So the only uh, difference between mocking this in is that's not exactly where it should be, although it's it's pretty spot on. It could just be me the way this is settled in um, in there. But she's in. I've still got whoops, got a floppy head. Ah, um, so a shit ton of room without an engine fan on. There is a shit ton of room in there. Um, anyway, so I gave it a bit of a decrease. So this is a three five one Cleveland. Um, it's old. It's 50 years old. It's had its time. It needs a rebuild or a stroke kit or something through it. I don't know. One day, maybe. Um, but she's uh, she's back in and running, and now slightly cleaner, which is always a blessing considering it's out here. Uh, I've taken the wraps off. All right. Let's let's give it a oomph. Cause gas. You suck. Uh, let's turn that down before I get. Oh, Stereo works real good, but yeah. Uh, all right, so oil pressure is fine. It is cold, but yeah. The temperature, yeah. It's got no thermostat, so it just does whatever it wants to. But come summer, i have got to do some work on this because I'm getting, you may not be able to see it, I'm getting mold growing on my door panel because I left it covered up with the windows up for a month. And it leaked water, as you can see. 
I'm gonna have to redo my uh, floors soon because that's just for me driving it and with heels ripping on my nice uh, shit off the floor or is that size not too bad but yeah it uh, it gets covered in water and then mold started growing so I left the window down the last three days and it's rained but luckily with that tarp that was still over it didn't actually uh, do anything so actually it's dry now so it's actually dry but I've got to do I've got to do this windscreen at one stage as soon as I get that um, new windscreen from Yarny pull this windscreen out pull the sun visor off do all the rust as thing but the water's coming in from up there because there was spots on the seat so I'm thinking something on my roof come on that oh, that oops that thing and probably these where the aircon unit used to be although I was celastic around this front part I think all that needs to come off and get redone because it's just it's leaking go on baby Once you drive it a little bit, it gets warmed up. She's fine. So there we go. All right. Well, I think that'll do it for today. So, got to keep wrenching on these projects, people. Even when you don't want to. But I think uh, cars and coffee tomorrow, which will be a couple of weeks ago <laughs> when you finally see this. So I might take this jigger down because now it's not going to drop water and overheat. Um... Doesn't seem to be leaking. So I might just go for a quick trip around the block down the shops. I don't know, some need milk. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this um, how this goes. If it keeps the water in, which would be a nice thing. If it kept the water in, that'd be nice. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, that needs work, but it is driving around a battery power, um, memory. Um, yeah, so it is registered, it's running, sun's going down, let's cruise, that should be enough. Um, if anybody else has parts for one of these old jiggers, um, kindly donate them because I can't afford anything at the moment. Uh, not that it needs much anyway, it's fine, but I need to have this running properly so I can at least go camping and have some time off. Because it's, well, I haven't had it off in a year now because of COVID, so it's like... I want some time off and then we can start to actually fix things oh. anyway I think it's uh, lemon squash time so all right guys cheers um, be good to your ears on it so oh, like subscribe FB pay, a page I've got the FB channel I keep getting there like subscribe share blah 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 um, if you like seeing me playing around with old stuff I have no idea what I'm doing with anymore and uh we'll get into it all right so that will do it and then maybe i might even get onto the valve who knows who knows all right guys cheers Uru.